Zahira. I am the leader of the group and I am from College Matriculasi Pera. Hi, my name is Niadi Lumenti Norosi and I'm from College Matriculasi Pera. My name is Rahana Faltu Izzat Mijirumuzi from Pera Matriculation College. Hi, I am Adriana Patricia Elizabeth Yuzukanai and I'm from Pera Matriculation College. Hi, our innovation name is NAFBI. So what is the meaning behind NAFBI? If one bee is harmed or fall behind, the other step up to complete the task. Bees are deeply involved with one another. They constantly share information they receive and keep each other up to date. Math B, your digital B, is here to assist you if you ever get stuck in math. We will give you the most recent information to help you broaden your understanding. Math objective is to improve one's knowledge of mathematics, providing up-to-date information, demonstrating a simpler method of learning, and making learning more fun and interesting. The reason why we decided to make this website is because after a survey had been done among the students about their problems in learning mathematics during this pandemic, especially in open and distance learning, and also the weakness of innovation of mathematics application in this day. And we recognize some of the problem is uh, their equation is wrongly added, they're unable to identify the mistake that has been done, and which formula to use. And for the mathematic innovation, most of them, we need to pay a full payment to get access to the full solution and also it has limited method of solving. With a low cost model and a short period of time, we could produce a simple innovation. However, we are hoping that our innovation are useful for students and teachers. We want more students to have interest and learn better by using our apps. This is the home page. Next, we have the PowerPoint page. So, it is recommended here to use the slideshow mode and the buttons for better experience. This is our MathP PowerPoint. At the bottom, we have fitted the function for each button. Now, let's open the presentation. Click on Start. This is the Math Hive, which consists of the topics. Just click on the hexagon button to go to the topic you want. I will click here. Now, under the topic, we have subtopics. I will go to inequalities. Under inequalities, these are the things that we will learn. So I will go to solving quadratic inequalities. Now we have notes, we have previous year's questions, we have steps of solutions, we have quiz, we have math bingo. I will first go to note. Just click on the next button to go to the next page. Now these are the methods. Just click on the method you would like to see. I will go to the graphical method. This is the tips button, just click on it for some useful piece of information and click back on it to close the tips. Now let's go to the next page. Just click on the back button to go to the previous page and the exit button to exit the notes section. Alright, now let's go to the step solutions. Alright, the step solution we have three methods also. Now let's see the real number line. So these are the solutions for real number line. Just if you are not clear about any of the steps, just click on the plus button to see extra information. Now let's press exit. Let's go to the previous year's questions. We have listed the years in each level. Just click on the button. These are the questions from 1999 to 2004. I will go to 2001, question 2. Alright, this is the question. And the green colored box is the answer. Click on this button to check the solution. This is the solution. And as usual, click on the plus button for extra information. Now press back. Exit. Exit again. Now let's go to quiz. Press start. This is the question. And click on the hints button for some help. Now click on the box to choose your answer. So click on the plus button to check why is it wrong. And go back and do the same for the other answers and you can click on next to proceed to the next question now i will press exit exit again and let's go to math bingo press start and on the left hand side we have the question instruction and hints click on the box to choose your answers now check answer bingo let's exit exit back exit and we're done now let's go back to the math website go to the feedback form don't forget to fill in the feedback form after you have tried the MathP PowerPoint. Here are some responses from the people who have tried our MathP PowerPoint. And we're done.